What did you think? <laughs> Dude, that was supposed to be a scary movie? I've seen golden retriever poppy dogs that were scarier than that. Hey, the zombies were cool. I'm not surprised you like them, little bro. Have you ever seen yourself in the morning? My name is Edward Skinner. Where's the orange juice? <laughs> I so do not look like that. You're right. To be strictly accurate, Henry, he looks more like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice one, Charles. Look, it's Wellington. It's nice of him to give us a lift home, but isn't that a bit over the top to use the helicopter? Maybe there's an artifact emergency. Well, Mum has totally overreacted about us not tidying our room before we went out. Sorry to interrupt your night out, uh, but you're needed at the Louisiana Museum of War History. Uh, museums are so boring. I'm afraid someone has accidentally created an army of swamp monsters. Swamp monsters? Cool! Yeah! Seriously! According to Grandpa Skinner's journal, the swamp monsters of Louisiana, or swampies, are lumbering, mindless creatures. Awesome! Just like Edward in the morning. And zombies! We'll bust out some karate moves on them. Yeah. Ouch! <laughs> Plus, technically, zombies don't exist. We're dealing with swampies, created by a magical artifact and controlled by a swampy king. They're real and therefore way more dangerous. So all that research I've done watching zombie movies is wasted? How are we supposed to deal with them? Swampies are real people in a trance, so we have to free their minds from whatever's controlling them. Talk about trances. Mind control? Tara's got the in-flight movie going on in her head again. What did you see? It looked like a swampy coronation. There was a crown. That would make sense. If there's a swampy king, he'd wear a crown. No, the king wasn't being crowned. I was. Well, that doesn't sound good. Tara the swampy queen? The curator from the museum is scheduled to meet us here. We're looking for Dr. Carruthers? Oh, yes, that's me, Dr. Marigold Carruthers, from the museum. Thank you so much for coming. Wellington, at your service, Madam Doctor. <laughs> I have a boat waiting. We must hurry. The Swampies are growing in number all the time. A rowboat? We're taking on an army of swamp monsters in a rowboat? <laughs> I get it. There's a mini sub hidden underneath or something, isn't there? No, I'm afraid it's all the museum has, but swampies are not known for their speed or brain power. We should be able to catch them. Ugh, mosquitoes. Why do monsters ever hang out somewhere cool? Like a fun park or a beach. I've brought a picnic. I thought after we've dealt with the swampies, we could do a spot of frog spotting. Really? How delightful. My PhD is in batricology. Huh? She's a frog doctor. How exactly did these swampies get unleashed? Well, I'm afraid they were created by a 19th century swamp doll we had on display in the museum. Let me guess. An evil genius supervillain broke through your tight security and stole it? We get a lot of that. Actually, no. I... Uh, I did it. <sighs> I was leading a tour at the museum. And here we have an interesting example of a 19th century swamp doll. These dolls were made by swamp dwellers to ward off city folk. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, oh, what does it do? Apart from looking scary, legend has it that when used in combination with this incantation, the doll will transform a person into a mindless barbarian called a swampy. Can you show us? Yeah. 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 No, 
no. While I'm sure the legends are purely mythical, there are some things that shouldn't be tampered with. Oh, all right. Maybe just a quick demonstration. It was like the doll was controlling me. I was helpless against its power. De où mesmerise pas ma puissance? La peur est problème. exciting than my last trip to a museum. Edward! What? I'm so ashamed. There, there, Madam Doctor. Uh, don't fret. We will do whatever it takes to fix this situation. We sure will. Do you still have the incantation? Yes, here it is. If you say it backwards, then tear the doll in half, it will reverse the effects, and the Swampies will revert back to their normal selves. Thanks. Mosquito net. Uh, hey. eh, I thought I'd join in. Quick goofing around, you two. We've got swampies to catch. I don't think we need to sweat it. Dr. Carruthers said swampies are brainless and slow. How hard can it be? <gasps> there he is! That's the teacher I swampified! That's the swampy king, all right. We still got the swamp doll. Guys, what's he doing? I'll get him. Oh no! Where did they go? Understand me, Master Edward. I thought our alligator friend might like some smoked salmon. But why should the alligator get our lunch? <laughs> okay, I get it now. Distracted with food. <laughs> One used to do that when she took me to the hairdresser. <laughs> oh, thanks for saving me, bro. Well, I couldn't let you drown. What would Mum say? <laughs> Wait, what's that? No biggie, that's just where the swampy dude grabbed me. Oh my dear, if the swampy touched your skin, that is a biggie, I'm afraid. Skin on skin contact means you'll become a swampy too. What? That's ridiculous. I feel absolutely... Oh. Ow. too image conscious for that. Careful! Don't touch his skin! You'll turn into Swampies too! Now what 
do we do with him? I'll handle it. I was not tying champion in my Boy Scout unit seven years in a row, you know. Really? I was the Girl Guide champion and not tying eight years in a row. <laughs> so, what do you think? A ground line hitch? Oh, no. A constrictor knot and a sheet band combination to start with. Guys? Of course. Uh, then let's improvise. A work of art. It's a shame we can't display him at the museum. Such a fine example of notology. Oh, no. What's wrong? You're not a swampy now, are you? Because I think Wellington and Dr. Carruthers have used up all the rope. I've lost the incantation. It was in my pocket before I fell in the water, but now it must be at the bottom of the swamp. What are we going to do? It's not in the journal. I'll call Mum. Why, Charles? You wanted to write you a note to excuse you from saving the world? Mm. Ah. <laughs> Mum, what are you doing? Hmm. I was trying to relax. There's no time for that. There's a horde of swamp monsters on the loose in the bayou. We need you to go to Grandpa Skinner's library and look for anything on Swampies. What exactly am I looking for? The incantation to turn Swampies back into regular people again. He must have a record of it somewhere. I'm onto it. Right, she's onto it. But how are we going to catch up with the Swampies, get the doll, and save Henry when all we have is a rowboat? I've got an idea, but Wellington, I might need to borrow the helicopter. <gasps> huh? Edward. Ah, not again. Where are they this time? Hmm. What are you all doing lying about, Rex? 
interesting. I thought you were meant to be saving the world. Mom! Why isn't Edward wearing any pants? And why is Henry tied to an oar? <laughs> we'll explain everything later. Great. So if we survive the Swampies, Mum will kill us. I found the incantation and uploaded it to all of your PDAs. Thanks, Mum. Brilliant. Well, now we've got an incantation, but we've lost the Swampies and the doll. Hmm. No, we haven't. Look, they're both. But where are the Swampies? Those few hundred footprints could be a clue. Time for me to choose my queen. A female to rule a mighty swampy army alongside me. Uh oh, this looks disturbingly like my vision. Maybe we can sneak through and grab the doll. Swampies aren't noted for their speed and brain power, remember? in the middle of a swamp. 
And who are you? There, there, sir. You were bitten by a rare species of mosquito that gave you temporary amnesia. I didn't do anything embarrassing, did I? You? Oh, no, nothing at all. It's not like you recruited an army of monsters and made one your queen or anything silly like that. So the passcode for this lock changes three times a day? Yes. And you don't have the code? Goodness, no. The museum isn't trusting me with that again. I'm truly sorry to have caused so much trouble. It was no trouble at all. We're used to Henry being brainless. And Tara's never married into monster royalty before, but it was only a matter of time. I'm just glad to be back to my normal self. Are you sure? Wait. Is that Swampy Drool on your t-shirt? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey guys, don't Wait. run in a museum. <laughs> Come here. I suppose this is farewell. Yes, although we do have a swamp near the Skinner Mansion. Really? Does it have amphibians? Oh yes, both frogs and toads. You should visit. You or the toads and frogs? Madam Doctor, for you, I would happily sit in a pond and say, ribbits. <laughs> <laughs> My kind of man. <laughs>